Today I'm going to be showing you how to change the filter on the Allen BreatheSmart 45i. The first thing you need to do to remove the filter is just remove the case from the front uh, and you'll see the filter now. My filter is super super dirty, it's been in use for 12 months and I'm going to show you how dirty it really is. At the front you've got the pre-filter, this is removable and you can change these fairly regularly and you can just see, I mean there's just so much dirt already in this room, this probably should have been changed a little bit longer and then you've got the carbon on the back. So I've got a new filter here that I'm going to look at. So we're, at the moment we're testing out generic filters. Uh, this particular filter is from Pureberg. It was well rated on Amazon and it's only $36 versus the $70 that are the genuine filters from Allen. It certainly looks pretty decent. Uh, as you can see, is the filter is a, a lot cleaner. I'm going to put the pre-filter back on. Now to put the filter back in, you need to make sure that the carbon is, goes at the back and then you've got the pre-filter at the front and just slide it in. Uh, I like that the Allen devices are fairly, fairly nice to look at. Um, and then the case goes back on. Now, one of the questions we get a lot from people is how to get rid of the red light. So when the filter needs changing, it will go red, the final light on there. Once the new filter's in, just hold the filter button down for as long as it takes, uh, switched on and, it, and the light will go off. Uh, if you're having problems, let me know. Uh, and we're going to be testing how well these generic filters work. So be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to know if the genuine fil if the generic filters are as good as the genuine.